Hey guys, welcome back to the Piston Show. Um, it's Monday 8th of April today and uh, it's been quite a dramatic weekend for the automotive industry, particularly for Cherry Malaysia. Um, on Saturday, the 6th of April, a Facebook user uploaded a video of her practically, you know, I wouldn't say shouting, I would say more like being really pissed off uh, with Cherry, especially with uh, her Omoda 5. See, the gist of it all is that she actually just had just picked up her car from a service center and she was on the highway, presumably on the way home, when uh, apparently her brakes had supposedly failed. I'm not sure whether it failed outright or it just there was just a loss of uh, braking performance, so to speak. So I'm guessing it's the latter because she was actually parked by the side of the road uh, and so I'm guessing reduced braking performance. So, but this is just an assumption. I have no idea actually until I hear it from her. Now, I cannot embed the, her video in this video, in our video, simply because I reached out to her to ask her permission to actually embed the video. For the sake of ethical journalism, I've decided to not embed her video in this, uh, in our video, but simply to add a link to her video in the description box below. So if you want to watch that video of hers, just check out the link that I've included in the description box. That will give you some context into what we are talking about. However, just to ensure that we continue, we can continue producing such videos, I would like to acknowledge our sponsor. So here's a quick word from BH Petrol. I hope you hang in there. We'll just be back in a minute. Hey guys, what are some of the things that you consider when choosing a petrol brand? For me, I make sure that the petrol can keep my engine clean and also give me better mileage. I'm sure everybody thinks about this when choosing a particular brand. With BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 04M, you get precisely that. It has special German additives that reduces the amount of deposits that build up in your engine over the long term, keeping it clean. It also has improved friction modifiers that reduces the amount of friction that your engine has to go through, ultimately giving you better mileage and making BH Petrol's Infinity Ron 95 Euro 4M the right choice. Thanks guys, uh, I hope you watched that video, it really helps us to continue producing such videos. If I have your attention up to this point, do consider subscribing as well. It'll really help us to continue to grow and bring you some more reviews, news and comparison videos, which is what we love to do. Anyway, back to the point in hand, the, the Cherry Omoda 5 had actually lost braking power or braking performance and such. And according to the Facebook user that's addressed as Jess, uh, she had continuously spoken to her service center and complained about the braking performance. However, her cries uh, were ignored and uh, ultimately it unfortunately led to the total loss of uh, uh, total loss or reduction in braking performance, which ultimately led to Cherry Malaysia issuing this statement. So full credit to Cherry Malaysia for actually jumping on onto the bandwagon and actually, you know, addressing this issue before it actually became bigger than it should have or it potentially could be. So um, a lot of social media users, you know, social media being that toxic cesspool that it is, a lot of social media users are still bashing Cherry Malaysia and saying that why are you only coming out now when this user has been complaining for so long. Now guys, it's very important to understand the different layers in the automotive world. You have the manufacturer, you have the distributor, you have the dealers and then you have the managers and then the executives. Every time you make a complaint, it has to go up the chain and this chain is just filled with red tape, with different layers of protocols and such. So ultimately, if somewhere in between, it was probably that 
that complaint by Jess was probably lost in translation by the manager or by the executive. I'm not sure. But it probably did not reach Cherry Malaysia until the, her Facebook post. By the way, her Facebook post got over 1.4 million views. So this is the creme de la creme of basically a nightmare for Cherry Malaysia, guys. 1.4 million views. This went totally viral, the amount of views that it got. Uh, and ultimately, it actually showed the power of social media because it ultimately got Cherry Malaysia's attention. And full credit to Cherry Malaysia for actually issuing that statement that we saw earlier. And then after that, actually giving a courtesy card to, to Jess, which is something they don't really have to do. You know, that's the thing about Malaysia. We don't have lemon laws that protect our consumers. So giving a courtesy card is not something that Cherry Malaysia had to do. They just gave it out of goodwill. So everybody that is complaining and saying why is Cherry Malaysia only issuing a statement now when, when Jess has, uh, has spoken about this for months earlier, supposedly two months earlier because her Omoda 5 is actually two months old. I'm guessing that Cherry Malaysia just did not know about it. I'm guessing that the service manager didn't escalate it to the, his manager. I'm, I'm guessing that Cherry Malaysia just did not know about it. If you know a better story or the true story, Share, share it with us in the comment section below. I would really like to know. Anyway, moving forward, it's also important to know that uh, cars that are mass produced have an acceptable error rate. Now, this is quite common among car makers. Uh, in let's say, for example, in a million cars that you that manufacturers produce, some of the acceptable error rates might be ten cars, or you know, out of hundred cars, maybe one car everything even phones everything that you produce mass manufacture there is going to be an error somewhere there is going to be one or a couple of cars that actually have that problem now this is not a really big issue uh, because this is the first time that we are actually hearing about the omoda 5 having breaking issues in the malaysian market however in other markets, it has supposedly happened. I'm particularly talking about Cherry Australia, where this issue apparently happened and uh, uh, Cherry Australia was forced to issue a recall notice earlier this year as well. Now, the, the, according to uh, Cherry Australia, a total of 5,901 Omoda 5s were affected. According to Cherry Australia, there was a manufacturing defect where the bolt that secured the brake pipe union may not have been tightened sufficiently. This could have caused the brake fluid to leak and result in reduced braking performance, Cherry said in a recall notice. So I'm not sure whether this is the exact same thing that happened for the Omoda 5 and for the local market, but this is something that has affected Omoda 5s in different market and keep in mind that the Omoda 5s are for the Australian market Omoda 5s are also right hand drive models so they are practically the same in, in terms uh, mechanically they are potentially just the same I'm not sure I uh, could be wrong between whether the Omoda 5s in Malaysia and Australia are the same or not I suspect they are the same because I don't think any manufacturer would would spend that much money to differentiate the mechanical aspects. The software might be different, the interior features might be different, the seats, leather seats might be different, all of that might be different, but the mechanical bits, the brakes, the engine, you know, all of this oily stuff that is underneath all these layers in a car, that might be different. So yes, it has happened before in other markets, so if you own an Omoda 5 or you're thinking about buying an Omoda 5, I would suggest that you actually reach out and ask whether is this car affected by it. It's also important to know that despite everything that I'm saying, 5,900 cars, 901 cars were affected. But that does not mean all cars were affected. Remember about the error rate that I was talking about? Sometimes it happens. And full credit to, again to Cherry Australia for actually issuing the recall notice and it's fixed again not all omoda files were affected and cherry australia and again cherry malaysia as we saw actually worked very fast to address that issue so and i'm also going to 
finish off this this video by actually saying that these issues happen apparently it has affected bmw for all of their 2024 models which is astonishing because models like the i5 model like the x5 the 5 series 530i 7 series almost the entire range of bmw models were affected as well and this is bmw you pay maybe three to four to ten times more for a bmw as compared to a cherry you know and yet it happens it's very important to keep this in mind guys in america over 80,000 bmws were recalled 80,000. so this stuff happens whether or not it's a good thing it depends on how the manufacturer actually addresses this issue actually goes out and speaks to its customers actually issues recalls and makes it very you know public and shares all of this there are a lot of manufacturers out there that do very sneaky recalls they won't tell you anything but when you go and service your car they'll fix this so-called issues with the car sometimes it's a software glitch it's just a computer upgrade or programming update so a lot of a lot of manufacturers do that as well they're very sneaky so it's very important to give cherry malaysia credit for what they have done they they took the bold steps they suck they bit the bullet they sucked it up they run out there and they addressed it i feel very sorry for them because they're you know all of their facebook postings they are even promoting the tigo 7 pro now they're promoting the tigo 8 but you know social me media being the horrible place that it potentially can be everybody is just bashing them and you know saying com giving comments like are breaks included or is it optional it's not it's not right to be talking like that this issue no car manufacturer wants issues like this so again full credit to um, to cherry malaysia for working on this very fast it's unfortunate what has happened the point of this video is to tell you that stuff like this actually happens full credit cherry malaysia find out if your model 5 is affected go out there and actually be proactive and actually keep and just feel and be attuned whether there's a drop in braking performance if there is then go out there and visit your service center cherry malaysia also gives extended warranty programs 1 million or 10 or uh, 1 million kilometers or 10 year warranty or something right? i'm not sure if it covers the brakes but for everything that it is it's worth subscribing to an extended warranty program anyway guys thank you for watching as usual do consider subscribing and always always be safe and be attuned to your car because sometimes you can pick up on stuff without before it actually becomes a big deal that if you're facing issues drop me a comment below and i'll be happy to reach out cheers guys